Now, in a major embarrassment for the Rishi Sunak's government, a senior member of parliament has now admitted to his involvement in a honey trap sexting scandal that targeted a minister and also other fellow members of parliament. At least about 12 men working in and around the British parliament reportedly have been targeted as part of this sexting scandal. And they received unsolicited texts and naked pictures in their WhatsApp. William Rugg, the chairman of a common select committee, has now admitted that he'd handed over the personal phone numbers of colleagues to a man that he had met on Grinder, a gay dating app. Now, speaking to the Times, the 36-year-old Rugg said that he provided the details after sending intimate pictures of himself to the user. The Commons Select Committee chairman claim, claimed that he was scared that the man had compromising information on him. The rag has since apologized, saying that he'd actually ended up hurting people by being weak. The colleagues that he shared the numbers of were sent unsolicited flirtatious messages from users calling themselves as Charlie or Abby. The targets reportedly included three members of parliament, including a minister, two political journalists, a television presenter and also employees of political parties and most of them blocked the sender. However, according to reports, two members of parliament responded by sending explicit images of themselves and the scandal has now raised some serious concerns over the heightened vulnerability of British members of parliament to cyber attacks. The case has now become the bedrock of an investigation by the Leicestershire police and they are looking at this as a phishing case. Now, phishing is a term that is used to describe a targeted cyber attack on one or more victims to get them to reveal confidential information. Rag became a member of parliament for the Greater Manchester constituency of Hazel Grove in 2015. In 2022, he had announced that he would not be running in the next election. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.